Well, good morning, Screwball here and Bloodham in the back. Uh, it is day 123 of my Appalachian Trail journey. It is Tuesday, July 21st, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, it won't be the first time. Uh, we're gonna do a little over 11 mile day, pull up in Bennington, Vermont. Um, take a zero, resupply, and get some uh, needed rest before we continue on. So, um, had a good night, stayed at some campground, some shelter, to, the first shelter in Vermont, don't know the name of it, and uh, last night, Seth Warner. Seth Warner Shelter. So, uh, we're moving on this morning, and uh, we're going to have a great day, so I sure hope y'all going too. Sun's coming up, pretty day, it's supposed to be um, nice and sunny. And uh, that's the way we're getting our morning started. So y'all have a great day and we'll see y'all on up the trail. All right, we're starting off our first morning in Vermont here. Um, we've been in Vermont about three miles now. And uh, yesterday afternoon, but uh, you can see it's a little wet area a lot of small pines look like it's uh maybe in a not really a field just uh they're not very well established or something <clears throat> not very tall it may have been a chill off or something at one time they're just getting uh, back established But, uh, this is what the our first morning of Appalachian Trail in Vermont looks like so far. So I had some sun peeping through the trees about the time I started videoing, and I was going to show that to you, but I've done walked out of it, so there's no sun sun shining. So we're gonna move on up this trail, and something else comes up. I'll be glad to let you see it. I don't got one of these birds. He's trying to get fired up this morning. I don't know if he'll get going or not. Nothing like the one yesterday though. Yeah, he just can't hold it. But uh, he's trying. No, he, he didn't like that one yesterday or one I didn't record the day before. It's like, but he's trying, so just getting warmed up for the morning, I reckon. All right, we're on the power line right here early this morning. You can probably hear the wind better than you hear me. A little bit of you. Alright, you got your rock right there. Nice rock, but check out the tree growing on the rock. I don't know if you can hear the bullfrog. We come up on this pond here. Good looking little pond. Woodpecker over on the side there. I don't see any animals. But we're going to go see if we can find this woodpecker over here. This is what makes the trail interesting sometimes. You know, walk up on these bigger ponds like this. And there's frogs. I don't know if you can hear them, but there's frogs croaking everywhere. And the woodpecker done quit doing his thing, evidently. He was up there in one of those trees. 
And there's another pond down below us, huh? Evidently. There's your beaver dam. All right, we're gonna move on. All right, this is the brook or the creek coming out of that beaver pond. This is the other side of the beaver dam. All right, we've been dropping down off of the first big climb, coming back down, putting us in some pretty good hardwoods. Um, the undergrowth is pretty thick. It's got a pretty good canopy over top of us. It's got a lot of nice uh, hardwood in it. So far, today's been a good day. The trail's been nice. Temperature's been very comfortable today. So, thought I'd let you see a little bit of what the trail's looking like. So, we'll move on up, see what else we can find. All right, there's a beaver pond. You can see the dam is right there. So, actually, we're standing below the water line on a footbridge, footpath. But there's the... Uh, beaver dam it makes about the third one the beaver lodge is there in the middle of the screen all right let's move on up all right would you come up along this brook we're fixing to follow it down for a little ways it appears to be anyway Thought I'd go ahead and give you a little bitty look at it. It goes around the curve. It goes on down where the trail's going. So let's just go on down the trail a little bit. Take another look at it. It's pretty good boulders there in it. And it continues on down, so uh, we are too. All right, we've dropped over into another valley, hollow, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> you see we're coming out of some pine, a little pine grove, getting back into some mixed timber. Uh, we can cross this little saddle here and make our last climb for the day. Still got all the uh, ferns, so we ferns have stuck with us for several states now. Yeah, there's a wicked looking tree. So, uh, move on up this trail. I think we may have a view when we get to the top of this next uh, point, so. I'll let you see it when we get up there. All right, we're on Herman Hill, but as you can tell, there's not much of a view. I believe you could walk down this side trail a ways and you'd probably get a view, but uh, we're not gonna go down it to trail 
further back up here. So, uh, we're going to take a left right here and he's on down the trail. Fetch our shuttle at the bottom of the hill. And we'll be done for today. All right, we've been coming down this mountain for probably 15 minutes or so. It's been a pretty good descent. You can see the, this is what we've been climbing down, zigzagging. Uh, going down, you can see Bloodhound down there. There's a road down here. That's where we're going to. But I thought I'd just show you some of this uh, descent that we're on. We've been climbing down today. This is the only bad part so far. The rest of the day has been a great day. Um, so far, Vermont has been a pretty state, real nice state. But, you know, it's just one day in Vermont, so my opinion may change before I get out of it. Let's hope not. But, uh, like I said, this is where we're catching our ride into town. So I'll try to catch you up later in town once we get there and get set up. So I'll talk to y'all then.